I'm here today uh, with uh, Fernando Garcia. He's the VP of Latin America for APC by Schneider Electric. Mm-hmm. Um, Fernando has actually travelled to nearly, uh, actually all the events across Latin America this year. They are Buenos Aires, Bogota, Sao Paulo. Um, he's also been in Spain this year. So we've been really looking in depth at the Latin American market. Um, I'm interested in Fernando's perspectives on Latin America, given the amount of press coverage that the economic booms have been having. We're just back from Sao Paulo going through this boom. Um, We've got similar things in Colombia, where Colombia is meant to be reaching investment great status in the next two to three years. Um, How is this affecting the data center market? And what effect does the data center market have on this economic boom too? Certainly, these, uh, the data center industry is being uh, positively affected by this. Uh, Latin America, for the last five to eight years, has enjoyed uh, probably one of the best uh, uh, economic, political environments in a long time. And, and, and a good, a good uh, test was this economic uh, financial crisis, where Latin America came out uh, pretty strong. And, uh, and, and, and one of the reasons is because uh, I think Latin America finally uh, uh, is investing in infrastructure. Right? And data centers are part of the infrastructure of a country. So we, w- one thing that we still see in Latin America, there's, there's still a huge productivity gap, uh, competitive gap, competitiveness gap, in, in the sense that it's still Latin America, to be able to, to compete in a global scale, has to uh, become more competitive uh, and, and improve productivity. That gap, uh, one of the main reasons for that gap continues to be, unfortunately, corruption and, and, uh, and poor governance. Uh, but uh, I, I strongly believe that technology is, is what is going to make a d- big difference in, in, in Latin America in, in the coming years. And, and investing in data centers is, is a good uh, 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 sign for that. I think, in a way, uh, contrary to what most people would say or would think, Latin America is actually, it's actually an early adopter of, te- of technology. They, we, we, have, uh, uh, we, we see many, many companies in, in Latin America leapfrogging and, and, and adopting the, the latest technology in, in, uh, in servers, storage, or, or, or physical infrastructure for data centers. So, uh, so again, I see in the next uh, few years uh, a, a, a boom in, in data centers in, in Latin America. Uh, countries like Brazil, uh, particularly uh, followed by Colombia, Argentina and Mexico, are going to experience a, a, a big investment in, 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 in data centers. There's also going to be a consolidation of, of uh, companies. So you will see uh, either data center uh, uh, collocation uh, companies or, or uh, data center providers, data center services providers, uh, becoming bigger and consolidating and, and 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 going beyond the country. You know the 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 emerge of what is called the Latinas, the multi Latinas. So these are multinational companies that are actually headquartered in, in Mexico or São Paulo that are becoming global, uh, and and you will see many of these uh, uh, companies uh, investing in data centers in in the region as well as. Other global companies, foreign companies, American or European companies coming to Latin America and investing and in, 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 in building uh, uh, very interesting uh, projects. So, uh, so again, the productivity gap is going to be uh, uh, improved with, with technology and uh, t- data centers are, are the center of that. Um, and also the, the, the economic and the political environment is very favorable for those investments to, to come. Um, what are the peculiarities that you have seen in certain markets? You have an overview of the world, you work a lot in the States, you've been over to Europe. Just within the whole range of the actual specific data center engineering and that whole decision chain, is there anything that's, that's interesting? One of the dynamics that is different in, in Latin America from other countries, particularly in the US, is that you see uh, two, two things happening. One is in the small medium segment, there is a, a fast commoditization of the data centers. Um, so they're becoming more and more a utility kind of thing. Uh, and, and the other very interesting uh, thing uh, is to see how 
engineering companies are verticalizing and, and also going into the uh, building and commissioning of the data centers. Uh, that would be, you know, a sin in, in, in the U.S. where if you design, you cannot build or you cannot uh, operate the data center. Uh, in Latin America, you see more and more companies uh, actually uh, engaging in the design uh, in, 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 in actually building it, commissioning it, and in some cases operating the whole life cycle of the data center. And, and, and I think uh, that has to do a little bit with this uh, lack of specialization that you see in Latin America compared to the U.S., where you have companies very much specialized. Here, you see more generalist uh, kind of companies, and they, they can do everything from 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 design to building, operate, maintain the data center. That, that's one of the biggest uh, or main main differences I see in in, 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 it, in Latin America. Thank you very much, Fernando. Look forward to seeing you um, very soon at another data center dynamics location. Looking forward to it.